Hello guys, I am Rose Rose and in this video, I'll be showing you how to create a very simple identity card design in Adobe Photoshop. So without wasting much time, let's get started. I have my worksheet here and the size of the worksheet is 1526 pixels for the width and then 2480 pixels for the height. Set the resolution also to 300. Here's my pattern image, here's my model, that's Dr. Sharon, and here's my logo. Let's go back to the main worksheet. We will start by drawing a rectangle shape. Right click over here and select rectangle shape. Now let's draw our first rectangle. Left click and hold and then drag to the right side to create a rectangle. So let's go with something like this. Let's change the color of the rectangle. So double click over here and set the rectangles color to the color code of QC8221 and select OK. Press Ctrl J to duplicate the rectangle. Let's change the name to rectangle 2. Hold down the Shift key and then drag rectangle 2 up. Press Ctrl T. You want to drag this side down. To so hold down the Shift key, left click and hold and then drag that. So something like this okay. and click here. Select rectangle one again and let's import our pattern image. We press Ctrl C and then select our main worksheet and press Ctrl V to paste. Now press Ctrl T and let's resize our pattern image. Now drag it down. Right click on the patterns layer and select create clipping mask. Now let's align the pattern wall. And then you can see that the bottom part is in that wall aligned. So press Ctrl T and then drag it down to align it. Something like this is okay. Select these three layers. Press Ctrl G and then name them shapes. Now let's draw our ellipse shape over here. So right click this side and select ellipse 2. Hold on the shift key, left click and hold and draw a perfect circle. Something like this, okay. Let's change the color of our left shape. So double click here and give it a color code of 7EBB2F and select OK. Press Ctrl E, click this side and then center our left shape. Once you're done, press Ctrl D to deselect. Now press Ctrl T and let's resize, let's align our ellipse shape to the top rectangle. So something like this, okay? Let's add some stroke around our ellipse shape over here. So select FX and select stroke. Over here, set the stroke size to 30. Set the position to outside and then set the color code to white. And the color code for white is 6x. So click on OK and OK. Now let's import our model onto our design. So I'll press Ctrl C to copy. Go back to the main worksheet and then press Ctrl V to paste. To make sure the model layer is just on top of the lead sheet, then right click and select Create Clipping Mask. And let's push it down and then align it well something like this is okay select these two layers press ctrl g to group them and let's name them image let's import our logo we press ctrl c let's con let's convert it to smart object first we press ctrl c go back to the main worksheet and press ctrl v to paste now press ctrl t and let's resize the logo so I think something like this is okay. Let's press Ctrl and let's center it. Okay. This is okay. Now press Ctrl G and let's name it logo. So now we know that this group contains our logo. This group contains our image. And then this group contains the shapes. Okay. 
Now select the image group. And then we are about to add our text. Select the type to over here. Click here and then let's go with Dr. Sharon. So, yeah, Dr. Sharon. Okay. And then let's add OTR slash L. Open your character panel. And if you can't find the character over here, just go to window and select character. Now the font name is Monstrat Bold. So you are going with Monstrat Bold. Then let's set this side the view to minus 50. And let's set the size of our text to 27. Something like this. Okay. Let's change the color from black to green. So let's go with the color code of 09. Four eight three F and select OK. Press Ctrl E and let's center our text. Let's push it down a little bit. Press Ctrl G to duplicate this text. Select the bottom one and then drag it down. Highlight it and change it to Director of Occupational. Therapy and click here. Let's set the font size to 10 and let's change the font Monstrat regular. Now let's change the color of this text over here. So let's change it to a color code of 7EBBTF and click on OK. Press Ctrl E and let's center the text. Once you are done, just drag it up a little bit. Something like this is okay. Press Ctrl G to duplicate this text. Now select the, this text here, the Dr. Sharon text layer, and then the Director of Occupational Therapy. And press Ctrl G to group them. Name them empty. That's main text. Give some space over here. So let me align it with them. Something like this, okay? Let's push this text down. Let's change the text over there. So let's go with, over there. You can add your location. So add location here. Let's change the color to a color code of 09. 483F and click on OK. Set this size, this side to 200. Press Ctrl and then center it. And then let's change the size. So let's go with a size of 15. After this, OK. Press Ctrl E again and center it. Now, here you can add your location over here. Press Ctrl G, select the bottom text and then drag it down once again. Set this size to 0. Let's change the text to OT. And let's change the font to Monstrat Bold. Let's take a here. Monstrat Bold. Over here, set the size of this text to 44. So something like this, okay. Now press Ctrl A and center the text. Let's drag it down a little bit. So select the OT text layer, the add location here text layer, and then the empty group over here. And let's figure out the spaces between these texts. Once you are done, press Ctrl G to group it and then name it info. And that's it. Okay, guys. This is how to put a very simple identity card design in Adobe Photoshop. If you like this video and then you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Also, like, comment, and share with others.